The Supreme Court has held Justice Karnan guilty of contempt and sentenced him to six months in jail. Now, this makes him the first sitting judge to be sent to jail. And that's the latest dramatic development in this very unusual, unprecedented face-off that we've all been witnessing between Justice C.S. Karnan and the Supreme Court. Now, it comes after uh, the justice had sentenced the Chief Justice of India, as well as seven judges of the Supreme Court, to five years in jail. His order said the judges have been found guilty of car discrimination, conspiracy, harassment and misuse of contempt proceedings. He, he, uh, he did this after the Supreme Court had in fact sent a team of psychiatrists to check on Justice Karnan's mental ability. He'd sent back that team saying that he did not need it after which he sentenced the Chief Justice of India as well as uh, seven other judges uh, to five years in jail on those charges. Now this entire uh, unprecedented power began earlier this year after Justice Karna named 20 corrupt judges of the country writing to the Prime Minister and demanding an investigation into all his allegations. Well, Siddharth Pandey now joins us for more uh, on this. Siddharth, uh, this entire uh, face-off, power fight, uh, war of words has been totally unprecedented, involving the top uh, justices of the country. And now in an unprecedented move, uh, Justice Karnan has been uh, sentenced to six months in jail. Well, in fact, on Justice Karnan, the Supreme Court uh, now uh, finding him guilty of contempt of court and ordering the police, the West Bengal police, to arrest him immediately. Uh, those, are, those are the orders of the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court also saying that the media cannot uh, reproduce any of the statements, orders or comments of Justice Karnan. And the fact that uh, uh, interesting observations, of course, in court, uh, K.K. Venu Gopal, the senior counsel of the, uh, and also counsel of the Madras High Court, uh, actually asking the court that uh, uh, should this uh, action be taken because it would blemish the entire uh, judicial judiciary, the fact that he is, in fact, a sitting judge of a high court. But uh, the Chief Justice, in fact, saying that uh, he cannot just be seen as a judge but is being seen as an ordinary person, someone who has tarnished the image of the judiciary and therefore uh, you have to see it in that perspective. So this decision, of course, uh, being taken the, uh, by the Supreme Court after a long tussle between uh, Justice Karnan as well as uh, the Supreme Court of India. Uh, in fact, Justice Karnan had appeared before the Supreme Court uh, in March, on the 31st of March. Uh, a defiant justice uh, had then after that come out here in, in the lawns of the Supreme Court where I am standing and even held an impromptu uh, press conference. So in fact, uh, a big question, will this end the, uh, uh, the, the kind of tussle that we've seen uh, between uh, a high court judge and the Supreme Court? Uh, several legal luminaries are of the view, of course, that uh, does the Supreme Court even have powers to remove a sitting judge? Uh, but right now, of course, the big news is that the Supreme Court uh, and the Chief Justice has ordered uh, that uh, Justice Karnan indeed is in contempt uh, of court and that he be placed uh, under arrest uh, and be sent to jail for six months. That's the maximum term uh, that someone can be sent to jail for, for contempt of court, and that's the order of the Supreme Court.